chapter 9-10, Hypersensitivity Disorders. So we are continuing with the discussion of our books, <coughs> our book which is uh, Cellular and um, Molecular Immunology. And today we will be discussing chapter 19 on Hypersensitivity Disorders. So first of all, we will discuss the causes of hypersensitivity diseases, mechanism and classification of hypersensitivity reactions, disease caused by antibodies and antigen antibody complexes, disease caused by antibodies against the fixed cells and tissue antigens, immune complex mediated diseases, disease caused by T lymphocytes, disease caused by cytokines mediated inflammation, disease caused by cytotoxic T lymphocytes, therapeutic approaches of immunological diseases, selected immunological diseases, pathogenesis and the therapeutic strategies of systemic lupus erythromatous, the prototypic immune complex mediated diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, inflammatory bowel diseases, cellic diseases, and uh, all together with psoriasis. Then we will look for the summary. So <clears throat> let us go together. This is an interesting topic yet. Let us enjoy. <clears throat> The immune system serves the important function of the host defense against microbial infections, but immune responses are also capable of causing tissue injury and diseases. Disorders caused by immune responses are called hypersensitivity diseases. This term arose from the clinical definition of immunity as sensitivity, which is based on the observation that an individual who has been exposed to an antigen exhibit a detectable reactions or is sensitive to subsequent encounter with that antigen. Pathologically or injuries and excessive reaction were the then called hypersensitivity. Normally immune response eradicate infectious pathogen without serious injury to host tissue. However, these responses are sometimes inadequately controlled inappropriately targeted to host tissue or triggered by commercial microorganism or environmental antigen that are usually harmless. In this situation, normally benefic beneficial immune response is the cause of the disease. So the key concept here, normally immune response eradicate infectious pathogen without serious injury to host tissue. However, these responses are sometimes inadequately controlled, inappropriately targeted to the host tissue, or triggered by commercial microorganism or environmental antigen that are usually harmless. In this situation, normally beneficial immune response is the cause of the disease. In this chapter, we will describe the pathogenesis of different types of hypersensitivity reactions with an emphasis on the EFOTA mechanisms that cause disease injury. We'll conclude with a brief discussion, the consideration of treatment of neurological diseases, an example of disease that illustrate important principles. Causes of hypersensitivity diseases. Hypersensitivity reactions may be specific for different types of antigens. Reactions against self-antigens, autoimmunity, failure of the normal mechanism of self tolerance result in b and t and b cells cell reactions against one's own cells and tissue that are called autoimmunity we see already we saw already in chapter 15 and the disease caused by these reactions are referred to as autoimmune disease autoimmune diseases are estimated to affect at least 5% of the population in higher income countries and the incidence of this disorder is rising. Many of these diseases are more common in women than in men. The mechanism underlying this gender bias remain obscure. Autoimmune diseases are usually chronic and often debilitating and are enormous and are, are an enormous medical and uh, economic burdens. Although these disorders have been difficult to treat in the past, many new Effective therapies have been developed since 1990s based on the scientific advance in immunology. The mechanism of autoimmunity were described in chapter 15. In this chapter, we will refer various autoimmune disorders to assess how immune reaction against self-caused diseases. 
reaction against microbes. Immune response against microbial antigen may cause disease if the reactions are excessive or microbes are unusual resistance to eradication and thus the infections may persist. Ongoing T cells response against persistence microbes may give rise to the severe inflammation sometimes with formation of granulomas. This is the cause of the tissue injury in tuberculosis and some other chronic infections. If antibodies are produced against microbial antigen, the antibodies may bind to the antigen to produce immune complexes which deposit in tissue and trigger inflammations. Rarely, antigen, antibodies and T cells against microbes will cross react with self antigen and cause damage to the host tissue. In some cases involving the intestinal tract, inflammatory bowel diseases, the immune response may, may be directed against commercial bacteria and normally reside in the guts and cause no harm. Sometimes the mechanism that an immune response uses to eradicate a pathogenic microbes require killing infected cell and therefore such a response in invariably injures the host tissue. For example, in hepatitis B viruses infection, the viruses that infect liver cells is not cytopathic, but it is recognized as foreign by the immune, immune system. Cytopathic T lymphocytes, cytotoxic T lymphocytes eliminate infected cells and this normal immune response damage the liver. This type of normal reaction is not considered hypersensitivity. Reaction against non-microbial environment antigen. Most healthy individuals do not react against common, generally harmless environmental substance, but 20% of or more of the population is abnormally is abnormally but 20 or more of the, the population, 20 or more of the population is abnormally response to uh, one or more of these substances. These individuals produce IgE, immunoglobulin E, antibodies that cause allergic diseases seen in chapter 20. Some, some individuals become sensitized to environmental antigen and chemical that contact the skins and develop T cells reaction that lead to the cyto cytokine, cytokine mediated inflammation resulting in contact sensitivity, idiosynchronic, idiosynchronic immunological reaction against therapeutic drugs are also frequently clinical problem. In all of these conditions, the mechanism of tissue injury are the same as those that normally function to eliminate infectious pathogens. <clears throat> These mechanisms include innate and adaptive immune response involving phagocytes, antibody T lymphocyte, mast cells, and other leukocytes, and mediator of inflammations. The problem in hypersensitivity disease is that the immune response is not controlled appropriately or targeted to normal tissue. Or is targeted to normal tissue. Because the stimuli of these abnormal immune responses are often impossible to eliminate, e.g., self antigen, conventional microbes, or environmental antigen, the immune system has to build its positive feedback loops and purification mechanism. Once a pathologic immune response starts, it is difficult to control or to terminate it. Therefore, these hypersensitivity diseases tend to be chronic and progressive and pose major therapeutic challenge in clinical medicines. In a clinical situation, the term hypersensitivity is generally used to describe a harmful immune response against foreign antigen e.g. environmental antigen, drugs, or microbes. However, in our discussion, we will consider all causes of harmful immune reaction mainly to emphasize the common patho pathogenic mechanism, mechanism, of class mechanism and classification of hypersensitivity reactions. Hypersensitivity diseases are commonly classified according to the type of immune response and effector mechanism responsible for cells and tissue injuries. These mechanisms include some that are predominantly dependent on antibodies and other predominantly dependent on T cells. Although humoral and cell mediated immune immunity often coexist and both contribute to the tissue injury in many hypersensitivity disease. Immediate type 1 hypersensitivity is caused by IgE antibodies specifically for non-microbial environmental antigen and the, the most prevalent type of hypersensitivity disease 
It will be discussed in detail separately in chapter 20. Immediate hypersensitivity disease commonly grouped under allergy or atopy are often caused by activation of interleukin-4, interleukin-4, interleukin-5, interleukin-13 producing Th2 cells and production of IgE which activate mast cell and dysnophilias and induce inflammation. Antibody-mediated type 2 hypersensitivity, IgG and IgM antibodies specific for cell, surface or extracellular matrix antigen can cause injury by activating the complement system, targeting cells for, for phagocytosis by leukocytes, recruit, recruiting inflammatory cells and interfering with normal cellular functions. Immune complex mediated type 3 hypersensitivity IgM IgG antibody specific for soluble antigen in the blood form complex with antigens and immune complex make deposit in the blood vessel wall in various tissue causing inflammation thrombosis and tissue injury T cell mediated type 4 hypersensitivity in these disorders tissue injury may be due to CD4 T lymphocyte which secrete cytokine that induce inflammation and CD8 CTL, CTLs which kill the target cells. This classification is useful because distinct type of pathological immune response show different pattern of tissue injury and may vary in their tissue specificity. As a result, the different immunological mechanism causes disorder with distinct clinical and pathological features. However, immunologic diseases in humans are often complex and are caused by combination of humoral and cell-mediated immune response and multiple effector mechanism. This, complex, this complexity is not surprising given that a single an antigen may stimulate both humoral and cell-mediated immune response in which several types of antibodies and infected T-cells are produced. In the discussion that follows, we will use description that identify the, pa the pathogenic mechanism rather than a less inf informative numerical destination for types of hypersensitivity. Disease caused by antibodies and antigen antibody complexes. Antibody mediated diseases are caused either by antibody that bind to antigens on particular cells or in extracellular tissue or by antigen antibody complex that form in circulation and are deposited in the walls, cell in the vessel walls. Antibody against the cellular or tissue antigen result in the disease in which immunologic injury affect the cells or tissue whereas the antigen are present. So these diseases are often organ-specific and not systemic. By contrast, the manifestation of disease caused by immune complexes reflect as the site of immune complex depo deposition and are not determined by cellular source of antigens. Therefore, immune, immune complexes mediated dis diseases tend to be systemic and affect multiple tissue and organs. Classification of hypersensitivity disease type of hypersensitivity, pathologic immune mechanism, mechanism of tissue injury. So we have type 1, this is uh, the pathologic immune mechanism, IgE, antibody, T cells uh, also are involved. These are mostly occur in the, the mechanism of tissue injury, is mast cell, is no field, and mediator, vasoactive amine, lipid mediator, proteolytic enzymes, they come together and are broken down. Antibody mediated for class 2 is IgM, IgG antibody against cell surface or extracellular matrix, matrix antigen. Here, opsonization and phagocytosis, phagocytosis of the cell complement and FC receptor mediated recruitment of activation of leukocyte, neutrophil, macrophage, abnormalities in cellular function, for example, hormones, receptor signaling, neurotransmitter, and receptor block. Immune complex mediated type two, type three. These immune complexes of circulating antigens and IgM and OIG antibodies deposit in the blood vessels and tissue complement mediated the FC receptor mediated uh, 
recruitment and activation of leukocytes. Type 4, this one involves CD4 T cells, T helper 1, T helper 17 mostly, and also CD8 T cells, cytotoxic T cell. They are, cell, they are cytokine mediated inflammation and macrophage activations, direct targets, cells killing cytokines mediated inflammations. To provide that, to prove that the disease, a disease is caused by antibody, one should need to demonstrate the lesion that lesion can be induced in a normal animal by adaptive transfer of Ig purified from a blood or, or, or affected tissue of individual with the disease. An, exper an experiment of nature is, a, is a occasionally seen in children or mother with antibody-mediated diseases. This infant may be born with transient manifestation of such diseases because transplacenta passage of antibodies. However, in clinical situation, the diagnosis of disease caused by antibody or immune complex is usually based on the demonstration of antibodies or immune complex in circulation or deposited in tissue as well as clinical pathological similarity with the experimental diseases that are proved to be antibody mediated by adoptive transfer. <clears throat> disease caused by antibody against fixed cells and tissue antigens. Antibody mediated diseases are, pro are produced by antibodies that bind to antigen on a particular cells or in extracellular tissue. Antibody against cells and tissue antigen causes cause disease by three mechanisms: opsonization and phagocytosis. Number one. Antibody that bind to surface antigen on its circulating cells may opsonize these cells or they may activate the complement system resulting in the production of complement proteins that opsonize the cells. These opsonized cells are phagocytosed and destroyed by phagocytes that express receptor for FC portion of Ig antibodies and receptor for, receptor for complement proteins. This is the principal mechanism of cell destruction in autoimmune hemolytic anemia and the autoimmune thrombocytopenia in which antibodies specific for red blood cells or platelets respectively lead to the optimization and the removal of these cells from circulation. Splenectomy is beneficial in these diseases because the spleen is the major organ where optimized cells are cleared by phagocytosis and where antibodies are produced. Antibody coated red cells are, and platelets may also be lysed by membrane attack complex of complement. The same mechanism are responsible for hema, hemolysis in transfusion reactions, seen in chapter 17. Inflammation. Antibody deposited in tissue active complement, leading to the liberalization of breakdown products such as C, C5A, C5A, C3A which recruit neutrophil and macrophage. These leukocytes express IgGFC receptor and complement receptor, which bind to antibodies and attacks complement proteins. The leukocytes are activated by signaling from the receptor, particularly FC receptor, and leukocyte products, including lysosomal enzymes and reactive oxygen speech, are released and are caused the in tissue injury. Free antibody most often deposit in the basement membrane of extracellular matrix. For an example of antibody mediated inflammation and leukocyte activation causing tissue injury is glomerulonephritis caused by antibodies against the glomerular basement membrane called the good pasture syndrome if the antibody also binds to the basement membrane in, in the lung. The third mechanism is abnormal cellular functions. Antibodies that bind to normal cellular receptor or other protein may, may interfere with the function of, of this receptor or protein and cause disease without inflammation or tissue damage. For instance, antibodies specific for thyroid stimulating hormones receptor or nicotinic acetylcholine receptor cause functional abnormality that lead to the Graves disease and the Mastenia Graves respectively. Antibodies specific for intrinsic factor required for vitamin 12 absorption causes pernicious anemia. Antibodies specific for cytokines are rare but known cause of immunodeficiencies. So we have the diagram here. 
complement activations, uh, effect a mechanism of antibody mediated disease, opsonization of phagocytosis antibody opsonized cells and they may activate complement, generating a complement product that also opsonized cell leading to phagocytosis of cell through uh, through phagos, phagos, phagocytes FC receptor or C3B receptor. Inflammations antibody recruiting recruit leukocytes by binding to FC receptor or by activating complement and thereby releasing the product that are chemotactic for leukocytes. Function abnormality antibodies specific for cell surface hormones receptor, neurotransmitter receptor or secreting proteins interfere with normal physiology. For example, in grave disease left panel autoantibodies specific for thyroid stimulating hormones receptor in thyroid gland stimulated activities of receptor even in the absence of TSH causing excessive thyroid hormones release hyperthyroidism. In myasthenia gravis middle panel autoantibody specific for acetylcholine receptor on mass of cells block the action of acetylcholine leading to paralysis. In autoimmune pernicious anemia right panel antibody against in intrinsic factor interfere with the absorption of vitamin E. 12 resulting in deficiency that impair the hematopoiesis and cause anemia. So we go back and see the diagram and we continue. So uh, this is uh, we for A opsonization you see complement activation happens antigen red blood cells and other then the complement activation if happen so uh, platelets and antibody the phagocytic cells will want to kill this one therefore it is phagocytes and uh, Will, will kill the activated D part. In B, this is complement product of, uh, you see the C5A and C3A. Uh, then it, these are complement for activations. Then the, you see after activation, there is a lot of neutrophil, the macrophage together, cause leukocyte activations, and inflammation of the tissue injuries. But in other times, like antibody against the TSS, TSH, receptor they cause more production of uh, of thyroid this is uh, in graves disease but again this one in masthenia graves whereby you have antibodies against acetylcholine which which binds and causes masthenia graves but again if intrinsic factor uh, uh, vitamin b12 if you have antibody against those intrinsic factor now they bind and you cannot absorb vitamin b12 therefore you'll end up having megaloblastic anemias and other consequences Antibodies that causes cell or tissue specific disease are usually autoantibody produced as part of autoimmune reaction, but sometimes the antibody are specific for microbes. For example, autoantibodies against tissue antigen are listed in Table 19 2. Less commonly, the antibody may be produced against the foreign, foreign e.g. microbial antigen that are that is immunologically cross reactive with the component of self tissue. In a rare sequence to streptococcal infection called, called, called rheumatic fever, antibody produced against bacteria cross react with antigen in the heart, depositing in the organ, depositing this organ and uh, cause inflammation and tissue damage. Tissue deposit of antibodies can be de detected by pathological examination in some of these diseases, and the deposition of antibodies often associated with the local compl complement activation, inflammation, and tissue injury. So uh, this is the example, table 19, two example of disease caused by T cells, tissue specific antibodies. We have autoimmune hemolytic anemia, target antigen, erythrocyte membrane proteins, various chemical therapeutic drugs attached to red blood uh, cell protein mechanism, opsonization and phagocytosis of erythrocyte complement mediated system. Clinical pathological manifestation is hemolysis and uh, anemia. We have autoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura. This is platelet, me, uh, plat, me, platelet membrane protein, e.g., GP2B3 integrin. They cause opsonization and phagocytosis of the platelet. This one can cause bleeding because platelet will decrease in number. We have pemphigus vulgaris. These are protein in the inter, intercellular junction of epidemics called the small gland. Antibody-mediated activation of the protease disruption of 
intercellular lesions. This causes a skin blister, which is called bulla. Vasculitis caused by anchor. Neuro neutrophilic granules proteins presumably released from activated neutrophil. Neutrophil degradation and inflammation causes vasculitation. Vasculitis anchor. In good pasture syndromes, non collagenous NCA proteins of the basement membrane glomerular and lungs complement and FC receptor mediated inflammation. It causes nephritis, lung hemorrhage. Acute rheumatic, uh, acute rheumatic fever. This is the streptococcal cell wall antigen. Inflammation, it causes inflammation uh, and macrophagy antibody cross-reactive with myocardial antigens, then it causes activations. Mastenia graves, this is a nicotinic acetylcholine receptor, they are targeted, and uh, antibody inhibit acetylcholine binding down modulate the receptor. This causes muscle weakness and paralysis. Graves disease, Graves disease, this is uh, hyperthyroidism. Uh, it, the target is TSH receptor, the antibody mediated the uh, Stimula stimulation of TSH receptor, it causes hyperthyroidism. Autoimmune pernicious uh, anemia, this is an intrinsic factor secreted by gastric parietal cells. Neutralization um, of the intrinsic factor decreases absorption of vitamin B12. And abnormal erythropoiesis takes place, causes anemia. Neurological symptoms also happen. The anchor is... Um, Antineutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies. Immune complex mediated disease. Immune complex mediated disease are usually caused by antigen antibody complex that form in circulation and are deposited in multiple tissue producing systemic disorder disorders. The immune complex that cause disease may be composed of antibodies bound to either self antigen or foreign antigen. Almost all of these diseases are systemic, but a few are restricted to kidney, perhaps because in those cases, complexes are formed only in glomerular basement membrane. The occurrence of disease caused by immune complexes was suspected in, in the L19 by the statue physician named Clemen, Clemens von Pick, Pickut at the time of diphtheria infection where treated with were treated with, at time of diphtheria infection, were treated with serum from hose that has been immunized with diphtheria toxin, which is an example of passive immunization against the toxin by the transfer of serum containing antitoxin antibodies. Von Piquet noted that joint inflammation, arthritis, rashes, and fever developed in patients who were repeatedly injected with the antitoxin containing hose serum. Clinical feature of this reaction suggested that it was not due to infection or toxic comp component of the serum itself. The symptom appeared at least one week after first injection and whole serum and more rapidly with each repeated injection. Von Pickett concluded that this disease was caused by the host response to some component of serums. He suggested that the host made antibody to host serum protein. This antibody form, form, formed the complex with the injected proteins, and this was due to the antibodies or immune complexes. We now know that his conclusions were entirely accurate. He, he called this disorder serum disease. It is now known as serum sickness. It remains a clinical issue today in the individual who received therapeutic Therapeutic antibodies produced in animal that contain non-human sequence such sequence such as antisera used to treat scab by snake bites or rabies or anti thymocytes globulin used to suppress the graft rejection. Experimental model of immune complex mediated disease serum sickness. Much of our current knowledge of immune complex diseases is based on the analysis of experimental models of serum sickness, immunization of animal, of an animal such as a rabbit with large dose of foreign protein antigen lead to formation of antibodies against antigens. These antibody binds to circulating antigen and form immune complex which are 
initially cleared by macrophage in the liver and spleen. As more complexes are formed, some of them are deposited in, in the walls of blood vessels where they induce neutrophil-rich uh, inflammation by activating an, the classical pathway of complement and engaging leukocytes, FC receptor. The consequence of this inflammatory process depend on locations of the blood vessels in skin and host organ. The, in skin and host organ, the vesicular walls, inflammation, damage endothelial cells lining the vessel which promote thrombus formation and thus impair blood flow to the tissue. The result is ischemic damage and necrosis of those tissues. Capillaries in the renal glomerula and synovial a site where plasma is alterfilted to form urine or synovial fluid respectively by passing at high pressure through a specialized basement membrane and these locations are among the most common site of immune complex depositions. Thus, some of the most common clinical and pathological manifestation of manifestation are arthritis, nephritis, skin rashes in the is also frequent. Clinical symptoms are usually short-lived and the lesion heals unless the antigen is injected again. This type of disease is an example of acute serum sickness, a more indolent and prolonged disease called chronic serum sickness is produced by multiple injection of small amount of antigen which lead to the formation of small complexes that deposited most often in kidney and arteries and lungs. I want to repeat this place. Serum sickness. More, much of our current knowledge of immune complex disease is based on analysis of experimental model of serum sickness. Immunization of animal, such as rabbit with a large dose of foreign protein antigen lead to the formation of antibody against antigen. This antibody bind to circulating antigen form immune complex which are initially cleared by macrophage in the liver and spleen. As more complexes are formed, some of them are deposited in the wall of the blood vessel where they induce neutrophil-rich inflammation, inflammations by activating the classical pathway of complement and engaging leukocyte apes. The consequence of this inflammation process depend on the location of the blood vessel. In skin and most organ, the vesicular wall Inflammation damage endothelial cells lining the vessel which promote thrombus formation and thus impairs blood flow to tissue. The result is ischemic damage and necrosis of those tissues. Capillary in renal glomerulus and synovials are site where plasma is alterfilted to form urine and synovial fluid respectively by passing a high pressure through a specialized basement membrane and these locations are among the most common site of Im immune complex depositions. Thus, some of the most clinical and pathologic manifestations are arthritis and nephritis. Skin rashes is also frequent. The clinical symptoms are usually short-lived and uh, lesion heal unless the antigen is in injected again. This type of disease is an example of acute serum sickness. A more indolent, prolonged disease is called chronic Serum sickness is produced by multiple injection of small amount of antigen, which lead to the formation of small complexes that are deposited most often in kidney, arteries, and the lungs. So this is the pathological features of antibody-mediated glomerulitis. A glomerulitis induced by antibody uh, against the glomerula, glomerula basement membrane, good pressure syndrome. The light microscope show glomerular inflammations. So the immune complexes, mediated uh, glomerulitis, anti-basement anti membrane antibody mediated glomerulitis. These are immunofluorescence. And uh, here the severe damage and immunofluorescence shows smooth linear deposit of antibody along the basement membrane. B is glomerulitis induced by deposition of immune complex systemic lupus erythromatosis. Light mic microscope show neutrophil infiltrations and immunofluorescence and electronic mic 
micrograph shows calls granular deposit of antigen antibody complex along the basement membrane. So this is immune complex mediated injury, circulating immune complex deposited in vessel walls and in, in, induce the inflammation, vasculitis and thrombosis. And the immune complex deposited in vessel walls, fibrins, blood vessel, neutrophils. So they all cause the thrombus. So this is the sequence of immunological response in experimental in the experimental acute serum sickness. Injection of bovine serum albumin into rabbit leads to the production of specific antibody and formation of immune complexes. These complexes are deposited in vegetable tissue. Act activate activate complement leading to decrease in serum complement level. A cause, the cause of lesion which is resolved as complex and the remaining antigen are removed and free antibody not bound to antigen appear in circulation. So, um, um, so the complement system is activated. You have the antigen serum complexes. They rise, they cause free antibody, joint and kidney are mostly affected, affected because that's where deposition occurs. Arthur's reaction. A localized form of experimental immune complex mediated vasculitis is called Arthur's reaction. It is induced by subcutaneous injection of an antigen into previously immunized animal or an animal that has been given intravenous injection of antibody specific for the antigens. Circulating antibody rapidly bind to the injected antigen and form immune complexes that are deposited in the walls of small blood vessels at the injection site. This deposition gives rise to the local cutaneous vasculitis with thrombosis of the affected vessels, leading to the tissue necrosis. The clinical relevance of Arthur's reaction is limited. Rarely, a, a subject receiving a booster dose of vaccine may develop inflammation at the site of injection because of local accumulation of immune complex as in the Arthur's reaction. Pathogenesis of immune complex mediated diseases. The amount of immune complex deposited in tissue is determined by the nature of complex and, characteri and characteristic of blood vessel. Antigen antibody complexes are produced during most normal immune response, but they cause disease only when when they are produced in excess amount, are not effic efficiently cleared or and deposited in tissue. Small complexes are often not phagocytos phagocytosed and tend to be deposited in vessel more than large complexes, which are usually cleared, cleared by phagocytosis. Complex containing cationic antigen bind avidly to negative charged component of the basement membrane of the blood vessel and kidney glomerul. Such complexes typically produce severe and long-lasting tissue injury. Although the immune complex are often seen in joint and kidney, they may be deposited in small vessels in virtually any tissue. Deposit of antibody and complement may be de detected in the vessel and if the antigen is known, it is possible to identify antigen molecules in the deposit, in the deposit as well. Immune complex deposited in the vessel wall and tissue activate leukocyte and mast cell to secrete cytokines and a vasoactive mediator. This mediator causes immune complexes depos deposition in vessel wall by increasing vascular permeability and uh, blood flow. The major mechanism of tissue injury in immune complex disease is inflammation within walls of the blood vessel and occurred when the antibodies of deposited complexes activate complement and bind to leukocyte FC receptor. These are the same mechanisms that cause tissue injury in serum sickness described earlier. So example of human uh, complex mediated disease, uh, table 19, 3. Disease, antigen involved, clinical pathological manifestation. We have systemic lupus erythromatosis. This is the DNA, antigen DNA, nucleoprotein and others whereby they cause nephritis, arthritis, and vasculitis. 
So uh, also we have polyarteritis nodosa. This is hepatitis B virus surface antigen. In a minority of cases, it causes uh, vasculitis. Post-streptococcal post post glomerul glomerulonephritis. This is streptococcal cell wall antigen causes nephritis. Serum sickness virus routine causes arthritis, vasculitis, and nephritis. So this is about immune complex mediated diseases. Now, many systemic immunological diseases in human are caused by deposition of immune complex in blood vessel. Systemic lupus erythromatosis is an autoimmune disease in which complex is consisting of nuclear antigen and antinuclear antibodies deposed in blood vessel, in kidney, glomerular skin, and many other tissues. In, an, in, in, in a disorder called the polyarteritis nodosa, immune complexes mediated vasculitis involved involves medium-sized vascular uh, arteries. In small fraction of these patients, the disease is a late complication of viral infections and the complexes are made of up of viral antigens, e.g. Hepatitis, hepatitis, hepatitis virus antigens and antibody. Immune complex deposition is the also mechanism of disease called deposistriprococcal glomerulonephritis in which which develop in rare cases after streptococcal infections and is caused by complexes of uh, streptococcal antigen and antibodies deposited in glomerular, glomerul of a uh, kidney. In some form of glomerulonephritis, immune complex are not detected in circulation, raising the possibility that the antigen are first planted in kidney and complex forms locally. Disease caused by T lymphocyte. T lymphocyte injures tissue by either producing cytokine that induce inflammation or directly killing target cells. Inflammatory reactions are listed mainly by CD4 T cells uh, of the T helper 1 and T17, T helper 17 uh, subset. In some T cells mediated disorder, the principal mechanism of tissue injury is killing of uh, cells by CD8 cytotoxic T cells. The T cells that cause injury, tissue injury may autoreact may be autoreactive and or they may be specific for foreign uh, protein antigen that are present in, in or bound to cell tissues. T lymphocytes mediated the tissue injuries may also accompany strong protective immune response against persistence microbes, especially intracellular microbes that resist eradication by phagocyte, phagocytes and antibodies. A role of T cells in causing particular, a particular immunological disease is suspected largely on the basis of demonstration of T cells in lesions and the detection of increased level of cytokines in the blood or tissue that may be derived from T cell. Animal models have been useful for elucidating the pathogenesis of these disorders. Disease caused by cytokine-mediated inflammation. In immune-mediated inflammation, T helper 1, T helper 17 cells secrete cytokine that recruit and activate leukocytes. Recall that inflammation in, is the major defense reaction of innate immunity. When T cells are involved, the inflammation become more severe and chronic because T cells induce the production of potent inflammatory mediator for a prolonged period. Interleukin 17 produced by T helper 17 cells promote neutrophil recruitment, interferons gamma, produced by T helper, T helper 1 cells, activate macrophage and tumor necrosis factor, and chemokine produced by T lymphocyte and cell of innate immunity, such as dendritic cells and macrophage, are involved in recruitment and activation of many types of leukocytes. T helper, 1, T helper 2 cytokine induce isnophil-rich allergic inflammation, type 1 hypersensitivity, are discussed in chapter 20. Although we emphasize the, the CD4 T helper, T helper 1 and T helper 17 cells as source of cytokine. In lesion, many other cells may produce some cytokine, same cytokine. For instance, in psoriasis, CD8, CD8 T cells also produces the interleukin 17. In some animal model, the chronic skin inflammation, a source of interleukin 17 early in the source, in the cause of disease, appear to be a delta, a gamma delta T cells and innate lymphoid cells in tissue, pro 
in tissue produce men of same cytokine as do T cells. Tissue injury results from the product from from the product of the recruit, recruited and activated neutrophil and macrophage, such as lysosome enzymes and reactive oxygen species. Cytokines produced by activated lymphocyte and macrophage stimulate more leukocyte recruitment and inflammations, thus propagating the damage. Vascular endothelial cells in the lesion may express increased level of cytokine regulated surface proteins such as adhesion molecule and class 1 major histocompatibility complex molecules. The inflammation associated with T cell mediated disease is typically chronic, but both of acute inflammation may be uh, superimposed on the background of chronic inflammation. Delayed type Type hypersensitivity is an example of such inflammatory reactions and is described later. Chronic inflammatory reactions often produce fibrosis as a result of secretion of cytokine and growth factor by macrophage and T cells that activate fibroblastic and stimulate collagen production. Many organ specific autoimmune disease, diseases are caused by activation of autoreactive T cells by self antigen leading to cytokine release and inflammation. This is thought to be the major mechanism underlying rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetic, uh, diabetes, thoriasis, and other autoimmune disease. Some of these diseases are described in more detail at the end of this chapter. So we have a mechanism of T cell mediated diseases in, in cytokine mediated inflammatory reaction CD4 T cells and sometimes CD8 T cells not shown respond to tissue antigen by secreting cytokine that stimulate inflammation and uh, activate leukocytes leading to tissue injury B cell B in some diseases CD8 T cells cytotoxic T lymphocytes directly kill the cells so we have cytokine mediated inflammation, we have the tissue antigen presenting cytokine CD4, it causes the more recruit, it releases the cytokines which recruit more of microphage, more of neutrophil, this they release proteolytic enzyme, reactive oxygen species, and they cause a lot of damage, tissue damage. Sometimes T cell mediated cytotoxicity, if they are there, then it kills the cell the cells which are showing the antigen. T response. T cell response specifically for microbes and other foreign antigen may also lead to the inflammation and tissue injury. Intracellular bacteria such as mycobacteria and tuberculosis induce strong T cells and macrophage response that results in granulomatous inflammation and fibrosis described later. The inflammation and fibrosis may cause extensive tissue destruction and functional impairment typically in the lungs. Tuberculosis is the good example of infectious disease in which tissue injury is mainly tissue is mainly due to the host response t cell response against intestinal bacteria are thought to un underlie some form of uh, uh, ib ibd a variety of skin disease called contact sensitivity result from a uh, topical exposure to chemical and environmental antigen these disorders are caused by inflammatory reactions that are likely triggered by neoantigens formed by the binding of, chemi of the chemicals to self-antigen, including MSC molecules. Both CD4 and CD8 T cells may be the source of cytokine in, con in contact sensitivity reaction. Examples of contact sensitivity include rashes induced by the poison envy, poisons oak, in which T cells react against self-proteins that are modified by plant chemical called the urochials. By contact with this metal, nickels and beryllium, and variety of chemicals such as theoram, which is used in the manufacture of latex gloves and therapeutic drugs, some of these reactions become chronic and clinically are called the eczema. A chronic term used a clinical term used to describe uh, a different condition called atopic dermatitis discussed in chapter 20. Delayed type hypersensitivity. Delayed type hypersensitivity is an injury cytokine mediated inflammatory reaction resulting from activation of T cells, particularly CD4 T cells. 
This reaction is called delayed because it typically develops 24 to 48 hours after injury, after antigen challenges in previously immunized sensitized individual. In contrast to immediate hypersensitivity allergic reaction, which you, which you, which you develop within in minutes described in chapter 20. In the classic animal model, delayed type hypersensitivity, a guinea pig was first immunized by administration of protein antigen in, uh, in adjuvant. This step is called sensitization. About two weeks later, the animal was challenged subcutaneously with same antigen and a subsequent reaction was analyzed. This step is called el elicitation phase, phase. Human may be sensitized, sensitized by a delayed type hypersensitivity reaction by microbial infection by contact, by contact the, uh, sensitization with chemical and environmental antigen or by intradermal or subcutaneous injection of protein antigen. Subsequent exposure to the same antigen called challenge elicits the reactions. For example, purified proteins, uh, purified proteins. For example, purified protein derivatives PDD, PPD, a protein antigen of Mycobacterium tuberculosis, elicited the delayed type hypersensitivity reaction called tuberculin reactions when it is injected into individuals who have been exposed to M tuberculosis. A positive tuberculin skin's test response is a widely used clinical indicator of previous or active tuberculosis infections. The characteristics response of delayed type hypersensitivity evolve over 24 to 48 hours, about four hours after injection of antigens in sensitized individual. Neutrophil accumulate around the posticapillary venules at the injection site. By about 12 hours, the injection site becomes infiltrated by T cells and blood monocyte, also organized in perivenule distributions, seen in figure, figure 19 the endothelial cell lining these venules become enlarged and show increased organelles and vessel leak plasma macromolecules. Fibrinogen escapes from a blood vessel into the surrounding tissue where it is converted into fibrin. The deposition of fibrin edema and the accumulation of T cells and monocytes within the extracellular tissue space around the injection site cause the tissue to swell and become firm. In duration, in duration, a diagnostic feature of delayed type hypersensitivity is detectable by 18 hours after injection of antigen and is maximum of 24 to 48 hours. In the clinical practice, loss of delayed type hypersensitivity response to, universal, to universally encountered antigen, is the candida antigens, is an indication of the deficiency in T cell function, a condition known as ANAG. This general loss of immune response is different from lymphocyte energy, mechanism of maintenance of tolerance to specific antigen discussed in chapter 15. So we have table 19 for T cell mediated diseases. We have rheumatoid arthritis. This is collagen, a specific pathogenic T cell. This is collagen, citrullinated self proteins, and uh, it causes the principal mechanism is causing inflammation mediated by T helper 1, T helper 17. Cytokines, role of antibodies and immune complexes is also in query. We have multiple sclerosis, protein uh, antigen in, myel in myelins, myelin basic proteins. Inflammation mediated by T helper 1, T helper 17 cytokine, myelin destruction by, acting, by activating macrophage. Type 1 diabetics, mellitus, this is antigen of pancreatic islet B cells, insulin glu glu glutamic acid dicarboxylase and others. These T cells mediated inflammation, destruction of isolate cells of cytotoxic T lymphocytes. We have inflammatory bowel disease, enteric self antigen, inflammation mediated by T helper 1, T helper 17 cytokines. We have psoriasis, known skin antigen. Inflammatory mediated by T cell derived cytokines.
One minute, please. So, so due to diseases, T cell mediated diseases. In summary, we have rheumatic, rheumatoid arthritis. We have multiple sclerosis. We have type one diabetes mellitus. We have inflammatory bowel diseases. Uh, we have psoriasis, and most of them they are mediated by uh, T helper one, T helper seventeen, cytokines, <coughs> and um, yeah. Inflammatory mediated T cell derived cytokines sometimes like psoriasis. Although uh, <clears throat> delayed type hypersensitivity has traditionally been considered as T helper 1 mediated injury reactions, other T cell may contribute to the inflammation. In some in some T helper one, delayed delayed type hypersensitivity lesion neutrophil are prominent, suggesting the involvement of T helper 17 cells. In infections by some helminth parasitic reaction against the parasite eggs, a list the uh, delayed type hypersensitivity with a strong component of snowfields. In these cases, a role of T2 cytokines has been demonstrated. CD8 T cells also produce interferon gamma contribute to the delayed type hypersensitivity reaction, especially in the skin. Chronic delayed type hypersensitivity reactions are, and fibrosis can develop if the T helper 1 cells response to infection activate macrophage but fail to eliminate phagocytes microbes. With some infection, the reaction produces nodules of inflammatory tissue called granulomas. The chronic delayed uh, type hypersensitivity are ex Exemplified by granulomatous inflammation is caused by prolonged cytokine signal. In such a reaction, the activated T cells and macrophage continue to produce cytokines and growth factor, which amplify the reaction of both cell types and progressively modify the local tissue environment by activating fibroblasts that lay down collagens. The result is a cycle of tissue injury and chronic inflammation followed by replacement with connective tissues fibrosis. Chronic delayed type hypersensitivity reaction activated macrophage also respond to persistent cytokine signal by increasing cytoplasm and cytoplasmic organelles. Histolo hist histologically, these macrophages may resemble skin epithelial cells because of which they are sometimes called epithelial cells. Activated macrophage may fuse to form multinucleate giant cells. Granulomatous inflammation is an attempt to contain the infection, but it's also the cause of significant tissue injury and functional impairment. This type of inflammation is characterized by characteristic response to some persistence microbes such as M tuberculosis and some fungus. Much of the respiratory difficulties associated with tuberculosis or chronic fungal infections of the lung is caused by replacement of normal lung tissue with the fibrotic tissue and is not directly attributable to microbes. Disease caused by cytotoxic T lymphocyte. Cytotoxic T lymphocyte response to viral infection can lead to tissue injury by killing infected cell even if virus itself has little cytopathic, uh, cytopathic effect. 
the principal physiological function of cytotoxic T lymphocytes is to eliminate intracellular microbes, primarily virus, by killing infected cells. Some viruses directly injure injures infected cells and are said to be cytopathic, whereas others are not. Because cytotoxic T lymphocytes cannot distinguish between cytopathic and non-cytopathic virus, they kill virus infected cells regardless of whether they are the infection itself is harmful or to host to host example of viral infection in which in which the lesions are main lesions are mainly due to host cytotoxic T lymphocyte response and not virus itself including lympho, lymphocytic chorio meningitis in mice and certain form of viral hepatitis in humans seen chapter 16 so uh, this is just a delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction. So they say infection or immunization of extension sensitization and individual subsequent challenge with antigen with from the infectious agent elicit a delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction. The reaction is manifested by induction with a redness and swelling at site of the challenge, which pick up approximately 48 hours. Yeah, sensitization, interdermal injection of microbial antigen, challenge, then if you repeat, then you get this reaction. For 8 hours, you can measure it. Uh, cytotoxic T lymphocyte may contribute to tissue injury in autoimmune disorder in which destruction of particular host cell is a prominent component, such as type 1 diabetes, in which insulin products producing B cells pancreatic islets are destroyed. Cytotoxic T cells also cause injury to organ allograft during rejection response. So this is morphology of delayed type hypersensitivity reaction. A histo histopathological examination of the reaction in skin illustrated in figure 19.6 show a perivascular mononuclear cell infiltrated in the dermis. At higher magnification not shown the infiltrate is seen to consist of activated lymphocytes and macrophage surrounding small blood vessels in which the endothelial cells are also activated. B. Immunohistochemical staining demonstrates the presence of many CD4 T cell lymphocytes. Therapeutic approaches for immunological diseases. One of the most impressive accomplishments of immunology has been the development of noble therapies for immunological diseases based on understanding of fundamental mechanisms of these disorders. The therapy can be de divided into several blood uh, broad group groups. Broadly, acting anti-inflammatory agents, the mainstay for, of therapy for hypersensitivity disease for many years has been anti-inflammatory drugs, particularly corticosteroids, such as drug such drugs inhibit the secretion of cytokines and other mediators of inflammation and thus reduce the inflammation associated with the pathological infect immune response. Non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs are commonly used to reduce mainly inflammatory reactions. Cytokines antagonist. A large number of cytokines and their receptor involved in inflammations are being targeted by specific antagonists for the treatment of the chronic T cell mediated inflammatory diseases. The first clinical Clinically successful cytokine antagonists target tumor necrosing factor and included a soluble form of tumor necrosing factor receptor and the anti tumor necrosing factor antibody, which bind and neutralize the tumor necrosing factor. These agents are of great benefit in many patients with rheumatic, rheumatoids, Crohn's disease, and psoriasis. Antibodies to interleukin 6 receptor also have been successfully used in some form of arthritis. Antagonists of other pro-inflammatory cytokines and their receptor include interleukin-1, interleukin-12, interleukin-17, and the receptor of interleukin-12, interleukin-17, interleukin-23 are now approved for various inflammatory diseases, and many, many other are in clinical trial. Antibodies against TH2 cytokines or their receptor are approved for treating allergic diseases. In, in addition to this biological agents, small molecule inhibitor of genus kinase, uh, important intercellular signal mediator of various cytokines, 
since chapter 7 are also approved to inhibit cytokine actions in rheumatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and inhibitor of other kinds such as B-cell signaling molecules, BTK, are approved for antibody-mediated disease such as uh, rheumatoid arthritis and uh, systemic lupus erythromatosis. So this is just a granular, granulomatous inflammation. You see these are epithelial cells. They are macrophage, but they have the epithelial cell, the giant cell inside due to chronic inflammation. So biological therapies of uh, for inflammatory disease targeting T cells response and inflammation illustrated are the site of action of therapeutic agents that block different components of immune and uh, inflammatory response. Many of these uh, agents target cytokines and their receptor TB cell depletion by, an, uh, by anti-CD20 may reduce pathological T cell response. So we have humoral immunity, we have CTL4 IgG block stimulations, inhibit inhibitor of calcineurins, jacks and other kinase inhibitor signaling. Uh, we have anti looking looking to receptor block T cell proliferations. Uh, we have anti interleukin 17A block inflammations. Uh, we have anti P40 blocks TH1 and TH2 response. We have anti interleukin block additions. We have anti tumor necrosing factor and tumor necrosing factor antibodies anti interleukin 1, anti interleukin 6 block inflammations. Yeah. Example of cytokines antagonist in clinical use or trial. We have uh, cytokines or receptor target, we have predicted biological effect or of antagonist clinical indication. We have TNF, which is inhibit leukocyte immigration into site of inflammation, rheumatoids, arthritis, psoriasis, inflammatory boil diseases. So these are working there. Interleukin 1 inhibit leukocyte immigrations uh, into site of inflammation, rare autoimmune Autoinflammatory syndrome, severe gout, rheumatic, rheumatoid arthritis. We have interleukin 6, inhibit inflammations and antibody response that is still in query. Juvenile idiopathic arthritis, rheumatic arthritis. We have interleukin 17, inhibit leukocyte recruitment into site of inflammation, mostly for psoriasis. Interleukin 17 receptor, inhibit leukocyte recruitment for psoriasis as well. P uh, 40 chains of interleukin, of interleukin 12 and uh, interleukin 23 inhibit uh, T helper 1 and T helper 17 development. Then it, it, is, it is used for treatment of inflammatory bowel diseases and uh, psoriasis. Uh, interleukin 2 receptor inhibit interleukin 2 mediated T cell proliferation and cause acute graft rejection. Uh, prevents actually. BAF, this reduces survival of B cell lymphocyte is, and uh, it is used mostly in a systemic lupus erythromatosis. BAF is a B cell activating factor. Yeah, yeah, B cell activating factors. Depletion of, depletion of cells and antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies that deplete all lymphoid cells only B cells or only T cells are used to treat inflammatory diseases. In chapter 5, we listed some of the depleting antibodies in clinical practice. C, a table 5, 3, a recent development in the successful use of anti CD20 antibody rutuximab, which deplete only B cells to treat diseases that were thought to be caused by primary by T cell mediated inflammations. This, this treatment has shown efficacy in patients with rheumatic arthritis. Rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis and uh, uh, MS. Uh, the effectiveness of anti-CD20 may be related to the role of B cells as antigen presenting cells for T cell response, especially for generation and maintenance of memory T cells. Plasmapheresis has been used also to eliminate circulating autoantibodies and immune complexes. 
other biological agent CTLA4 IG efficient protein of extracellular domain CTLA4 and IgG FC region block B7 costimulators as seen in ch chapter 9 and is approved for treatment of uh, rheumatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and graft rejection. Antibody against integrin has been used to inhibit leukocyte migration into tissue, particularly in the central nervous system, CNS, and um, multiple sclerosis patients. And VLA4 and intestine in uh, intestinal uh, uh, inflammatory bowel diseases patients. The anti-alpha-4 beta-7. Intravenous IgG. Intravenous IgG is pulled IgG from health donor administered interve intravenously. It has beneficial effect on some autoimmune diseases such as autoimmune thrombocytopenia and uh, hemolytic anemia. It is not clear how these agents which contain IgG of many unknown specificity inhibit hypersensitivity reaction. One possibility that IgG binds to the inhibitory FC a receptor FCY gamma RIIB on the B lymphocytes and the dendritic cell of those attenuate autoantibody production and inflammatory response. Intravenous IgG may also compete with pathogenic antibody for binding to neonatal FC receptor which function in adult to protect antibodies from cat catabolism resulting in reduced half-lives of pathologic, pathogenic antibodies. Tolerance induced, inducing therapies. There are, there are ongoing attempts at more specific treatment for adaptive immune response, immune-mediated inflammatory disease such as an inducing tolerance to in disease-producing T-cells. MS and type 1 diabetes are two diseases in which the target antigen have been defined. In both disorder, clinical trials are underway in which antigen peptide of myelin, basic proteins, and insulin respect, respect, respectively are administered to patients in a way that inhibit lymphocyte specifically for antigen. A risk with many treatments that block various components of immune system is that these will interfere with normal functioning of immune system in combating microbes and thus make, make individuals susceptible to infection. Antigen-specific tolerance avoid this problem by selectively targeting the disease-causing lymphocyte. There is also interest in exploring our knowledge in exploiting our knowledge of regulatory T cells to treat inflammatory disease. Numerous clinical trials are ongoing to purify patient T regs and expand and activate them to culture and transfer them back to patient. Another approach is to treat patients with low dose of interleukin-2, which is expected to activate and maintain Treg more than effector T cells, effector cells, or interleukin-2 that is mutated to bind preferentially to CD25, the interleukin-2 receptor chain that is expressed and at constant and high level in Treg. Selected immunological disease pathogenesis and therapeutic strategies. In the following section, we will describe the pathogenesis of selected diseases that are caused by antibodies and T cells and novel thera therapies for these diseases. The goal of this discussion is not to present clinical detail, but to focus on how disease illustrate the principal underlying abnormal immune reactions. We start with the asystemic lupus erythromatosis, SLE, the prototype the prototypic immune complex mediated disease. SLE is a chronic, remitting, and relapsing multi system autoimmune dis disease that affects predominantly women, with incidence in the United States of 1 in 700 among women 20, in 20 to 60 years of age, about 1 in 25 among black women, and female to male ratio of 10. Ratio 1. Systemically, um, SLE is considered, considered the classic human immune complex disease. The principal clinical manifestations are rashes, arthritis, and glomerulonephritis, but hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, and the neuropsychiatric disorder are also common. 
Many different autoantibodies are found in patients with SLE. The most frequent are antinuclear, particularly anti-DNA antibodies. Other include antibodies against ribonucleoproteins, histones, and nuclear antigens. Immune complex formed from these autoantibodies and their specific antigens deposit in small arteries and capillaries throughout the body and are responsible for glomerulonephritis, arthritis, and vasculitis. Hemolytic anemia and thrombocytopenia are caused by autoantibody against erythrocytes and platelets, respectively. The principal diagnostic, for, diagnostic test for disease is the presence of antinuclear antibodies. Antibodies against double-stranded native DNA are, are specific for SLE. Antibody against double-stranded native DNA. Pathogenesis of systemic lupus erythromatosis. In SLE, genetic and environmental factor contribute to the breakdown of tolerance in self-reactive B and T lymphocytes. Among, among the genetic factor is the inheritance of particular HLA human leukocyte antigen RLE, the odd ratio relative risk for individual with HLA DR2 or HLA DR3 is 2 to 3. And if both haplotypes are present, the odd ratio is about 5. Genetic deficiency of classical pathway complement protein, especially C1Q, C2, and C4 are seen in about 5% of the patient with SLE. Complement deficiency may result in a defective clearance of immune complexes and apoptotic cells and failure of B cell tolerance. The polymorphism is in the inhibitory FC receptor, FC gamma RIIB, has been described in, in some patients. This may contribute to the inadequate control of B cell activation and failure to attenuate inflammatory response in, resp in, in, in innate immune cells. Many other genes have been uh, de de detected by genome-wide association studies and the role of some of these, such as uh, phosphatases, PTPN22, has been discussed in Chapter 15. Environmental factor includes exposure to ultraviolet UV light, which is postulated to lead to the apoptotic death of skin cells and re release nuclear antigens. Two observation has led to the new hypothesis of pathogenesis of SLE. First, studies in patients have revealed that blood cells show a striking molecular signature pattern of gene expression that individual in that uh, that indicate exposure to uh, interferons gamma alpha, interferon interferon alpha a type 1 interferon that is produced mainly by plasmacytes, plasmacytoid dendritic cell. Some studies have shown that plasmacytes dendritic cell from SLE patient produce abnormally large amount of interferon, interferon alpha. Interferon alpha. Second, studies in ML model have shown that toll-like receptor that recognize DNA and RNA, notably the DNA recognizing toll like receptor 9 and RNA recognizing toll like receptor 7, play a major role on, in activation of B cells specific for self nuclear antigen. One, on the basis of these studies, model for the pathogenesis of SLE has been proposed. According, according to this model, UV radiation and other environmental insults lead to the apoptosis of cells. Inadequate clearance of the nuclear of these cells in part because of defect in clearance mechanism as such as complement protein and nuclear nuclear such as T-Rex result in large burden of nuclear antigens. Polymorphism in various susceptibility genes for lupus lead to the defective ability to maintain self-tolerance in B and T cell lymphocytes because of which self-reactive lymphocytes remain function. Failure of B cell tolerance may be due to the defect in receptor editing or in deletion of immature B cells in the bone marrow or in peripheral tolerance. Self-reactive cells are not rendered tolerant. Self-reactive cells that are not rendered uh, tolerant are stimulated by self-nuclear antigen and antibody are produced against antigen. 
complexes of, complexes of antigen and antibodies bind to FC receptor and to the risky cell and, and to antigen receptor on B cells and may be in internalized, internalized, internalized into endosomes. The nuclear acid components engage endosome, tau like receptor and stimulate B cell to produce more autoantibodies and activate the enriched cell, particular, particularly plasmacytoid the enriched cell to produce interferon gamma, which further enhance the immune response and may cause more apopto apoptosis. The net result is a cycle of antigen release and immune activation that lead to the production of high affinity autoantibodies. New therapy for systemic lupus erythematosus. The recent advance in our understanding of systemic uh, lupus erythematosus are leading to novel therapeutic attempt, but success have proven elusive. There have been a great interest in depleting B cells by the use of antibody against B cell surface protein CD20 but clinical trial using uh, anti-CD20 have had little success. An antibody that blocks the B cell's growth factor, B cell activating factor, is now approved for treatment of SLE, but seem to have only modest efficacy. Additional approaches that are being tried are to combine B cell depletions with the depletion of long-lived plasma cells using proteasomes inhibitor, which lead to the accumulation of misfold proteins and uh, ultimately cell death and to activate Treg by treating patient with low dose interleukin 2. Despite the environmental or involvement of interferon gamma in the disease clinical trial to test the efficacy of antibodies against interferon gamma or its receptor have not been successful. So we have susceptibility, susceptibility genes, B and T cell specific for self-nuclear antigen. We have external triggers, radiations, apoptosis. Then apoptosis when it happens, defective clearance of apoptotic bodies, increased burden of nuclear antigens. Then uh, this can cause anti-nuclear antibody antigens, antibody complexes, endocytosis of antigen antibody complexes, then in toll like receptor engagement of nuclear antigen in endosomes. Uh, this leads the B cell type 1 interferon, plasmocytes, and stimulation of B cells and dendritic cell. So, persistence high level anti nuclear IgG antibody productions. This one with complexes will form. So, a mode of pathogenesis of systemic lupathyrathomatosis. In this hypothetical model, Various suspectability genes interfere with maintenance of self tolerance and external trigger lead to the persistence of nuclear antigen. The result is an antibody response against self nuclear antigen, which is amplified by toll like receptor dependent activation of dendritic cells and B cells by nucleic acid and the production of type 1 interferons. Rheumatoid arthritis, RA. RA is an inflammatory disease involving small and large joints of extremities, including fingers and toe, toes, wrist, shoulder, knees, and ankle. The disease is characterized by inflammation of synoviums associated with a destruction of joint cartilage and bone, with morphological picture indicating of local immune response. Both cell-mediated and humoral immune response may contribute to the development of synovitis. CD4, T helper 1, and T helper 17 cell activated B lymphocyte plasma cell and macrophage as well as other inflammatory cells are found in the inflamed synoviums. And in severe cases, well-formed lymphoid follicles with geminocenter, so-called Tertiary lymphoid organs may be present. Numerous cytokines, including the interleukin 1, interleukin 8, tumor necrosing factors, interleukin 6, interleukin 17, and inter interferon gamma, 
have been detected in the synovial joints fluids. Cytokines are thought to recruit leukocytes whose product causes tissue injury and also to activate residence synovial cells to produce proteolytic enzymes such as collagenase that mediate destruction of the cartilage, ligaments and tendons of the joints. Increasing osteoclast activity in the joint contribute to the bone destruction in rheumatoid arthritis. And this may be caused by the production of tumor crossing factor family cytokines, RAC, receptor activation activator of the nuclear factor kappa, ligand by activating the T cells. Rank ligand bind to the rank and a member of tumor necrosing factor family that is expressed on osteoclast precursor and induce their differentiation and activation. Systemic complication of rheumatic, rheumatoid arthritis include vasculitis, presumably caused by immune complexes and lung injury with fibrosis. Although much of the emphasis in studies of rheumatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis has been on the roles of T cells, antibody may also contribute to the joint destructions. Activated B cells and plasma cells are often present in synovial, synovial of the affected joints. Patients frequently have a circulating IgM or IgG antibody that react with the FC, rarely a fab portion of their own IgG molecules. These autoantibodies are called rheumatoid factor and their presence is used as diagnostic test for rheumatoid arthritis. Another type of antibody that has been detected in, in over half of the patient is, in, is specific for citronellated proteins. The antibodies are called anti-citronellated protein antibodies, ACPA, because they are assayed by binding to citronellated peptide. The chemical altered antigen are derived from the proteins such as vimentin, fibrinogen, among others that are modified in inflammatory environment by enzymic conversion of agnine residue to citrulline. About 60 to 80 percent of rheumatoid arthritis patients have rheumatoid, rheumatoid factor or ACPA and are said to have a seropositive rheumatic, rheumatoid arthritis which tended to be more severe than non-seropositive rheumatoid arthritis. Many asymptomatic seropositive individuals have been studied and observed gradually to develop seropositive. Both type of antibody are diagnostic marker and may be involved in formation of pathogenic immune complexes. Pathogenesis of uh, rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis. Like other autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis is a complex disorder in which genetic and environmental factors contribute to breakdown of tolerance to self antigens. The specificity of the pathogenic T and B cells remain unclear. Although both B and T cells that recognize citrullinated protein have been identified, susceptibility to rheumatoid arthritis is linked to HLA DR4 haploid and to a few other HLA DR alleles, all of which share five residue segments called a shared epitope. In the, ep in, in the peptide binding groups, recent genomes wide associated studies have revealed a large number of genetic polymorphism associated with, with the rheumatic, rheumatoid arthritis, including the gene encoding a tyrosine phosphate. PT P and 22 discussed in chapter 15. The identification of uh, antibodies, anti-citrullinated protein antibodies, anti-citrullinated protein antibody have led to the new ideas about, gen uh, about pathogenesis of rheumatic arthritis. Some, some of the earlier um, ACPA tend to be of IgA isotypes. So it is postulated that this disease is initiated at mucosa sites, including the respiratory tract, according, according to one model, environmental insults such as more smoking and some infections induce the citrullinations of self proteins leading to creations of new antigen prep epitope. Because these chemo chemical modified epitope are neoantigens that are not present normally, 
they may not be to tolerance to these antigens. Individuals who have HLA allergy that are capable of presenting this epitope may mount T cells and antibody response against protein. If these modified cell proteins are also present in joints, and T cell and the, 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 the T cell and antibody attack the joints. T helper 17 and perhaps T helper 1 cells secrete cytokines that recruit leukocyte into their joints and activate synovial cells to produce collagenase and other enzymes. The net result is progressive destruction of cartilage and bone. A chronic immune response in, in joint may lead to the formation of tertiary lymphoid organs in synovium, and these may maintain a, and propagate the local immune reaction. A diagram. Suspectability genes, HLA, others saw failure of tolerance and regulated lymphocyte activations or environmental factor, infection or smoking, enzyme modification of citrullinations of self proteins. This lead to the B and T cell response to self antigen, including antigen in joint tissues. So here uh, we'll have production of a lot of T helper 17, T helper 1. And the antibody will be there, lymphocyte antibodies and immune complexes will enter the joints, joints, novio membranes, and the cyanocytes activation, cytokine production, inflammation will be destruction of the cartilage and bone. Collagenase will be formed and other things. So when we read the instruction here is a model for the pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis according to this model citrullinated protein induced by environmental stimuli, elicited T cells and antibody response in genetically suspectable individual. The T cells and antibodies enter the joints, respond to self proteins and, and cause tissue injury, mainly by cytokine secretions and the, perhaps also by antibody dependent effector mechanism. Protein modification other than Stimulation may lead to the same result, HLA leukocytes antigen health. New therapies for rheumatoid arthritis. The realization of central role of T cells and cytokines in disease has led to the remarkable advance in treatment, in which specific molecules have been targeted on the basis of specific understanding. Chief among these new therapies are antagonists of tumor necrosing factor, which have transformed the cause of disease in many patients from one of progressive and in, in, intolerable joint destruction to one of the uh, smoldering sm but manageable chronic inflammation. Various other targeting therapy have been developed in the past five to 10 years. Blockage of cytokine other than a tumor necrosing factor has been effective, including antibodies that block interleukin-6 receptor and interleukin-1 antagonist a small molecule that inhibits jack signaling inhibition of T cell activation has been accomplished by blockage of uh, B7 uh, ratio of CD28 is called stimulation with CTLA4. B cell depletions with anti CD20 antibody has also proven to be efficacious, although the mechanism underlying these effects are not well understood. Multiple sclerosis, MS. MS is an autoimmune disease of central nervous system in which CD4 T cells of the T helper 1, T helper 17 subset react against self myelin antigens, resulting in inflammation with activation of macrophage around nerves in the brain and spinal cord, destruction of myelin abnormality in the nerves, conduction, and neurologic, neurologic deficit. In the most common, it is the most common neurological disease of young adults. Patho pathologic examination reveal inflammation in CNS, white matter, and de demyelinations. Multiple sclerosis is characterized by clinically by weak. Multiple sclerosis is characterized clinically by weakness, paralysis, and ocular symptoms with the exacerbations and remissions. Central nervous system imaging suggests that in the patient with active disease, there is frequent new lesions formations. Multiple sclerosis is modeled, modeled 
by experimental autoimmune encephalitis in mice, right? Rats, guinea pigs, and non-human primates. And this is one of the best characterized experimental model of organ-specific autoimmune disease mediated mainly by T lymphocytes. Experimental autoimmune encephalitis is induced by immunizing animal with antigen normally present in CNS myelin, such as MPB, proteolipid proteins, and myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein, together with an adjuvant containing heat-killed mycobacteria, which is, like, which is necessary to elicit a strong T response. About one to two weeks after immunization, animal develop encephalitis characterized by perivascular infiltrates and lymphocytes and macrophage in central nervous system, white matter, followed by demyelinations. The neurological lesion can be milled or self can be milled, self-limited, or chronic and relapsing. These region, lesions result in the progress, progressive or remitting or and relapsing paralysis. The disease also can be transferred to naive animal with T cell from diseased animal. Although antibody against myelin antigens have been detected in patient as well as in animal model, the pathogenic significance of these antibodies are not established. Pathogenesis of MS. There is abundant evidence that E, which is a, a experimental autoimmune encephalitis, is caused by activated CD4 T helper 1, T helper 17 cells specific for protein antigen in myelin. By analogs with the experimental diseases, multiple sclerosis is also thought to be caused by myelin specific T helper 1, T helper 17 cells. And these cells have been detected in patient and isolated from the, from the blood and central nervous system. How, how these cells are activated in patient remain an enigma. One theory is that an infection, most likely viral infection, activates self-myelin self reactive T cells by a phenomena of molecular mimicry. Self-tolerance may fail because of the inheritance susceptibility genes. Identical twins have 25% to 30% concord concordance rate for development of multiple sclerosis, whereas non-identical twins have 60 concord concordance rate. These observations impl implicate genetic factor in development of disease, but also indicate that genetic contribute only partly for risk. Genetic polymorphism associated with multiple sclerosis include HLA locus, HLA DRB1-1501, showing a strongest linkage. Genome-wide association studies and other Genomic analysis have revealed 800, uh, 100 genetic variants that contribute to disease risk. Most of these mapped gene involved in immune uh, function. One interesting association is with uh, polymorphism in non-coding regions of genes for interleukin-2 receptor alpha chains. CD25. This polymorphism may alter the generation and maintenance of effector T cells or T regs. Other studies have suggested that peripheral maintenance of T reg is defective in a patient with multiple sclerosis, but how such how much this contributes to the failure of cell tolerance is not known. Once myelin specific T cells are activated, they migrate in central nervous system, whereas they encounter myelin proteins and release cytokines uh, that recruit a recruit and activate macrophage and more T cells leading to myelin destruction. Studies of uh, experimental autoimmune encephalitis suggest that the disease is propagated by a process known as epitope spreading. The tissue breaking down results in release of new proteins, antigen, and expression of new previously sequenced epitope that activate more autoreactive T cells. New therapy. Immunotherapy of, for uh, multiple sclerosis has in the past, they relied on approaches whose, whose scientific bases are not well understood. These include administration of Bay interference, beta interference, which may alter the cytokine response and treatment with a random, random, random 
polymer of 4 amino acid which is postulated to bind to HLA molecule and block uh, antigen presentation. Recently, however, several new immunomodulating therapy based on rational, and rational principle have been developed. One is an antibody anti against alpha-4 subunit of alpha-4 beta-1 integrin, also known as VLA4, very late antigen 4. The antibody, antibody block leukocyte immigration to CNS and has been shown to be beneficial for patients. However, in small number of patients with treatment resulting in reactivation of latent JC virus uh, uh, infection, causing severe and sometimes fatal CNS diseases. Another recently approved drug to treat MS also interfere with leukocyte immigration, drug called Fingolimoid, FTY 720, block the sphingosins 1 phosphate mediated pathway for T cells ingress from lymphoid tissue. In subset of patient patients, B cells depletion with anti CD20's antibody is beneficial. These results suggest an important role of B cells, presumably as antigen presenting cells, in activation of pathogen T cells, pathogenic T cells, because MBP is known to be an important self antigen that is target for immune response in MS. It is hoped that administration of MPB peptide with will induce antigen specific tolerance and generate T-Reg specifically for relevant antigen. It's also sh striking that most of the therapies are more effective in LMS, which is characterized by inflammation, than in progressive MS, which is characterized by neurodegeneration and is the major cause of permanent disability. This realization is leading to new attempts to restore myelination and repair damaged exon and, neutral and neurons. Type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, previously called insulin-dependent diabetes, is a multi-system metabolic disease resulting from impaired insulin production that affects 0.2 of the U.S. population with a peak onset of at 12 and uh, 11 to 12 years of age. The incidence of disease appears to be increased in North America and Europe. The disease is characterized by hyperglycemia and ketoacidosis. Chronic complications of diabetes include progressive atherosclerosis of artery, which may lead to the ischemic necrosis of limb and uh, internal organ, microvascular obstruction causing damage to retina, renal glomerules, and peripheral nerves. Type 1 diabetes is caused by deficiency of insulin resulting from immune mediated destruction of insulin production B cells of islet of allergy hands in the pancreas and continuous hormone replacement therapy is needed. There is usually a long lag of for many years between the initiation of autoimmune and overt clinical disease because 90% or more of the islet have been destroyed before clinical manifestation are seen. Pathogenesis of type 1 diabetes. Several mechanisms may contribute to beta cell destruction including inflammation mediated by CD4 TLPA1 cells reactive with islet antigens, including insulin, acetotoxic T lymphocyte mediated lysis of islet cells, local production of cytokines, tumor necrosis factor interleukin 1 that damage islet cells and autoantibody against islet cells. In the new case, in the new in the few in the few cases in which uh, pancreatic lesion have been examined. At early active stage of disease, the islet shows cellular necrosis and the lymphocytic infiltrations consisting of both CD4 plus and CD8 T cell. This lesion is called insulitis. Autoantibody against insulate cells and insulin are also detected in blood of these patients. In suspectable children who who have not developed a diabetes such as relative of patients, the presence of antibody against ACE cells is predictive of development of type 1 diabetes. An informative animal model of the disease is non obese diabetic mouse which develops spontaneous diabetes. This model, there is evidence of defective survival and function of T reg and resistance of effector T cell suppression by T reg. Another interesting 
idea that have emerged mostly from Mao's model is that post-translation modification of islet antigens has led to creation of new epitopes of a new epitope that elicits the immune response similar to the neoantigens in rheumatic arth rheumatoid arthritis discussed previously. Multiple genes are associated with the type 1 diabetes. Most attention has been focused on the role of HLA genes. Between 90 to 95% of Caucasians with type 1 diabetes have HLA DR3, HLA or HLA DR4, both in contrast to about 40% of health subjects and 40% to 50% of the patient are DR3, DR4 heterozygous, in contrast to 5% of health subject. The actual HLI genes that may play a role in pathogenesis may be HLA DQ allele that are in linkage, linkage disequilibrium with the, the DR allele. Several non HLA genes also contribute to the disease. The first of these are to be identified in insulin with a tandem repeat in the promoter region being associated with the disease susceptibility. The mechanism by mechanism of which mechanism of this association is unknown. It, it, it may be related to the level of expression of insulin in thermos, which determine whether insulin specific T cell will be de deleted, negatively selected during maturation. Several other polymorphisms have been identified in patients and in non mice, including the interleukin 2 and the CD25 genes. Different polymorphisms in these genes may increase or decrease risk for development of disease, but how this polymorphism affects T cell response is not fully established. Some studies have suggested that viral, viral infection, which is Coxkai virus B4, may precede the onset of type 1 diabetes, perhaps initiating cell injury inducing inflammation and expression of costimulators and triggering the an autoimmune response. However, epidemiologic data suggests that repeated infection protect against type 1 diabetes, and this similar and this is similar to NOD model. In fact, it has been postulated that one reason for increasing incidence of type 1 diabetes in higher income countries is the control of infection, infectious disease. New therapy for type 1 diabetes. Most interesting new therapy strategy for type 1 diabetes are focused on inducing tolerance with the diabetogenic peptide from islet lagans such as insulin and the inducing or giving Treg to patients. These clinical trials are in their early stages. Inflammatory bowel diseases. Inflammatory bowel disease is a heterozygous, heterogeneous group of uh, disorder characterized by chronic remittent inflammation in small and large bowel That's, that is likely a result of inadequate regulated, regulated response to commercial bacteria. The two main types of inflammatory bowel disease are Crohn's disease which can affect the entire thickness of, of the wall in any part of the gastrointestinal tract but more frequently involve the small intestine and ulcerative colitis which is restricted to the colonic mucosa. Pathogenesis of uh, 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 inflammatory bowel disease. Although the causes of Crohn's diseases and ulcerative colitis are poorly understood, several types of evidence suggest that these disorders are a result of defect in regulations of immune response to a commercial organism in the gut in genetically suspectable individuals. A number of immunological abnormalities may contribute to this development of inflammatory bowel diseases, defect in innate immunity to gut commercials, loss of functional mutation in the gene that encode for NOD2 cytoplasmic innate immune sensor associated with subset of Crohn's disease that may lead to the pro to reduced innate defense against intestinal microbes, and there are also be effective expression of molecules such as defensin leading to increased commercial bacteria inversion through intestinal epithelium. Ab abnormal Th17 and Th1 response, analysis of T cells response in animal model and patient with the inflammatory uh, 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 bowel disease indicate that there is an, in act there is an active Th2, Th17 response 
in the affected part of the bowel. Genetic studies have shown that polymorphism in genes encoding the interleukin-23 receptor carry increased risk for inflammatory bowel disease. Although the effect of polymorphism on expression or function of receptor are not known, Crohn's disease is also characterized by chronomatous inflammations driven by interferon gamma producing T helper, T helper 1 cells. Defective function of regulatory T cells, it is possible that inflammatory bowel diseases may be caused by inadequate T-reg mediated suppressions of immune response to commercial organism. The evidence supporting this hypothesis originally came from the mouse model in which the absence of T-reg lead to the colitis. In human fox, P mutation results in failure and development of T-reg and causes disease called apex, immuno, immune dysregulation and the polyendocrinopathy enteropathy X-linked syndrome, which induce severe gut inflammation in addition to autoimmune inflammatory of uh, many other tissues. Mutation is in the receptor for interleukin-10, an, an, an immune suppressive cytokine made by T-regs and other causes L onset of severe colitis. So, a postulated pathogenesis of Crohn disease, figure 1912. Bacteria from intestinal lumens enter into the lamina propria where they induce development of uh, Th1 and uh, Th2, uh, Th1 and Th17. Cytokine produced by these cells causes inflammation and tissue damage. So, then polymorphism of genes that Sorry, let us see that you see this is the these are bacteria. They will come in, they will be taken by bacteria protein dendritic cells. Then if uh, interleukin 23, interleukin 12 will be produced, interleukin 1s. These again will uh, activate interleukin 17. Interleukin 17 will always call for leukocyte to come in, the macrophage and dendritic cells. Then uh, Th1 will produce interferon gammas. These are all inflammatory uh, markers of which they cause the inflammations, barrier defect leading to influx of bacteria components as well. So polymorphism of great gene of genes that are associated with the um, macro macroautophagy and unfolded protein response to endoplasmic reticulum stress are risk factor for intestinal bowel diseases. Macroautophagy is a process in which cells sequester cytoplasmic organelle within autophagosomes, which then fuse with lysosome, promoting the destruction of organelles. Variants of autophagy genes including ATG1, 6L1, and IRGM that are associated with the Crohn disease impair autophagy in paneth cells. And for unclear reason, this reduces the secretion of lysosomes and defense in into the intestinal lumens. Immunotherapy for intestinal uh, uh, for for inflammatory bowel diseases. Tumor necrosing factor antagonist were the first biological agent used to treat inflammatory bowel diseases. The findings of uh, exgrated T helper one and T helper seventeen response are the basis for the treating anti. Uh, treating patients with the monoclonal antibody that bind to polypeptides P4 shared by interleukin-23 and interleukin-12. Interleukin-23 is required for T helper 17 mediated immune response and interleukin-12 is required for T helper 1 response. Clinically, clinical trial for interleukin-17 antagonist treatment for, for Crohn diseases have not shown efficacy suggesting that excessive production of interleukin-17 may not by itself be responsible for this disorder. Another biological agent approved for chronic diseases is the monoclonal antibody specific for uh, alpha-4, beta-4 integrin, which is expressed on gut-homing lymphocytes. So, tumor necrosing antagonists were the first biological agent used to treat inflammatory bowel disease. The finding of exaggerated T-helper-1, T-helper-17 response are the basis for the treat, treating for treating patient with the monoclonal antibody that bind to polypeptide P40 shared by interleukin 23, 20, by 12 interleukin 23, 12 and 23, 
is required for T helper 17 mediated immune response and 12 is required for TH1 response. Clinical trial of uh, interleukin 17 antagonist treatment Crohn disease have shown have not shown efficacy, suggesting that uh, excessive production of interleukin 17 may not by itself be responsible for this disorder. Sialic disease Sialic disease or gluten sensitive enteropathy is an inflammatory disease of small bowel mucosa caused by immune response against ingested gliadin. The major protein component of the broader groups of protein called glutenin present in, in wheat and other grains. Sialic disease is characterized by chronic inflammation in small bowel mucosa leading to anthropathy of veal, malabsorption, and various nutritional deficient that lead to the inter, in, in, to extraintestinal manifestation. The disease is treated by restricting diet with, to gluten-free foods. Pathogenesis of sialic disease, CD4 T cell response to gla, gladin are linked involved in disease pathogenesis. T cells specifically for gladin peptide are found in patients with sialic disease and inflammatory process in the bowel T cells and T cell cytokines. The risk of developing sialic disease is strongly associated with the HLA DQ2 and uh, DQ8 LLs. And there is evidence that these cells, HLA molecule, can present modified gluten peptide to mucosa CD4 T cells in affected individuals. A host enzyme transglutaminase 2 converts the neutral neuro amino acid glutamine in gluten peptide to the negatively charged residue glutamic acid. The negatively charged peptide bind more efficiently to, than, to DQ2 and DQ8 and activate specific T cell that secrete cytokine that contribute to the intestinal inflammation. Patients pro produce IgA and IgG antibodies specific for gluten as well as autoantibodies specific for TG2. Whether these antibodies contribute to the disease development is not known, but they are diagnostic marker for disease. In addition, CD4 T cells response killing of intestinal epithelial cell by CD8 T cytotoxic T cells and natural killer cells may also contribute to the disease. Although the source of the peptide is recognized by CTLI what, or what the natural killer cells are responding to is not clear. So this is what we see, gluten, gluten, intestinal. So T cell mediated inflammatory damage to epithelial lead to the production of interferon as normal, a lot of them, tissue transcriptomines, deaminated gliadin, antigen presenting cells. This causes problem. Postulatory pathogenic of cell disease, gliadin is converted to peptide that is presented by lamina propia tendritic cell to CD4 T cells, certain produced by T cells damage the intestinal epithelial. Intestinal epithelial. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is the prototypic interleukin 17 mediated chronic inflammatory autoimmune disease. It involves primarily the skin and also affects the joint and other tissue in some cases. The response the responsible self antigens are not clearly defined. But possible candidates include caseridins and microbial proteins and keratins, both produced by keratinocytes and other proteins made by melanocytes. The autoimmune response may be triggered by infections or other unknown stimuli. Several lines of evidence have established the central laws of interleukin 17 producing cells in the resulting inflammation. High level of interleukin 17 and the TLP17 inducing cytokine interleukin 23 are found in psoriatic lesions as large number of interferons of interleukin 17 producing CD4 and CD8 T cells. The contribution of interleukin 17 producing uh, gamma delta T cells and the uh, innate lymphocyte cells has been suggested but not clearly established. Genome wide association studies have revealed disease associated polymorphism in interleukin-23 receptor genes and other genes associated with the T helpers 17 T development. It is postulated that once interleukin-17 produced 
producing T cells are activated, presumably by one or more self antigen. The interleukin 17 they produce stim stim they produce stimulates inflammation and activate dendritic cells to produce tumor necrosis factor and other T helper 217 inducing cytokine. This reaction set up a vicious cycle of continuous inflammation. Effective new biological therapy have been have been developed based on this model. The first the first such agent to be used uh, in the disease were tumor necrosis factor antagonists. These were followed by anti antibody specific for P40 chains that is shared by in interleukin 12 and interleukin 23 mentioned earlier in therapy of inflammatory bowel disease the most success successful of these biological agents are antibodies that block interleukin 17 and interleukin 23 which are very effective in most patients summary disorder caused by abnormal immune response are called hypersensitivity diseases Pathologically, the immune response may be autoimmune response directed against self-antigens or uncontrolled, uncontrolled or excessive response to foreign microbial antigen. Hypersensitivity disease may result from antibody that bind to cell or tissue, type 2 hypersensitivity, circulating immune complex that deposited in tissue, type 3, uh, or, or T lymphocyte reactive with the antigen in tissue type, type 4. Immediate hypersensitive type 1 reaction are, are the cause of allergic diseases and are described in chapter 20. The effect, the effect and mechanism of antibody-mediated tissue injury are complement activation and the FC receptor-mediated inflammation. Some antibody causes disease by opsonizing host cells for phagocytosis and or by interfering with normal cellular function without producing tissue injury. The effector mechanism of T-mediated tissue injury are inflama inflammatory reaction induced by cytokines secreted by mainly, mainly by CD4 T helper 1, T helper 17 cells and cell lysis by cytotoxic T lymphocyte. This classical T cells mediated reaction is delayed type hypersensitivity induced by activation of previous primed T cells and production of cytokines that recruit and activate various cytokines and predominantly macrophage. The current treatment for of autoimmune disease is targeted at reducing immune activation and injuries consequences of autoimmune reaction. Agents include those that block inflammation, such as antibody against cytokines and integrins, and those that block lymphocyte activation and destroy lymphocyte. A future goal of therapy is to inhibit the response by of lymphocyte specific for self antigen and to induce tolerance to these cells. Autoimmune diseases such as a systemic lupus erythromatosis, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, inflammatory, inflammatory bowel diseases, celiac and the psoriasis illustrate many of the effector mechanism that causes tissue injury in hypersensitivity reaction and roles of sus susceptibility genes an environmental factor in the development of these disorders. This marks the end of this chapter. So here are the readings uh, that you can go through and uh, increase your knowledge based on this, what we have discussed. The next chapter is uh, chapter 20, The Allege. Thank you and all the best. This was Jeremiah Pusa.